we're going to do the second part of the lesson 11. Um, use tables, graph, and equations to make the inter interpretation of the um, problems. We have the first example. The table shows the cost for a different number of tickets for the band concert. Find the unit cost. Remember that we have a band concert tickets. I have the number of tickets. I have the cost. Then here I have the graph. Okay, as you can see, it's a linear function. I have 2, 12, 4, 24, 6, 36, 8, 48. The ratio, in this case, using the table, are all equivalent because we just make the division. For example, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 24 divided by 4, 6. 36 divided by 6, 6. 48 divided by 8, 6. So in this case, for example, I just make the division. You have an example. So 24 divided by 4 equals to 6 over 1, or just $6 for one ticket. So that's the relationship that we're looking for. Now we use the graph, so you graph those points and you're going to have a linear function. So the graph of the data shows that the cost of the ticket is $6. How do I figure out those ones? See, rise over run. Rise over run. How many units we went up? Six. How many units we went to the right? One, so it's six over one equals to six, which is the cost per ticket. Okay, now let's answer the questions. Explain what the unit cost means in the constant of the example problem. Remember, we were talking about the unit cost. So in this case, we're going to say that the unit rate In this case, is six is the cost in dollars for one ticket. Okay, that's what it means. Here is the cost in dollars per ticket. So number two, use two points on the graph to find the slope. How does the slope relate to the unit cost? So in this case, the use two points, you find two points here, 12 divided by four is six, 24 divided by four is six. So the slope in this case is six. Remember, we can use the other formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I can, Choose two points. I'm going to choose the first one. This one is one six. And the second one I'm going to choose this point is four and twenty-four. Four and twenty-four, and then you name it. Okay, this is x1, y1, and this one is x2, y2. And uh, I'm going to use the formula. Here m is equals to y2 minus y1, so it's 24 minus 6. And then the denominator will be 4 minus 1. So in this case, what we're going to have, if you do 24 minus 6 is equals to 18 divided by 3. See, um, in the, if we divide, it's equals to 6. That's the slope. So in this case, I'm going to say the slope of the graph. is 6 and the slope of the unit cost is the same the slope of the unit cost the slope and 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 the slope and unit cost is the same In this case, 6. Use the slope you found in problem 2 to write an equation, find the cost y in exit ticket. So for example, you have the linear equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, v is the, b is the y-intercept, and as you can see in the graph, where the graph starts? In 0. The graph is starting in 0, that means you're going to have y equals something x plus 0. So what is the slope? It's 6. 
is 6x plus 0, but I mentioned that you don't write 0, so y equals 6x. That's the linear function. That's your graph um, of the linear function. Now let's move to problem number 4. Problem number 4 says, the table shows the distance Nikki travels on her bike as a function of how many hours she rides at a constant rate. Use the information in the table to make a graph. Using the coordinate plane to the right, find the slope of the graph and explain what it means in this situation. So I have this grid here, and what you need to do is just graph these points. It's going to be an approximation. It's going to be a linear function. Okay, it's going to be a linear function. So for example, you have number of hours is 2, and then you have 16.5. So you have 0, 10, 20. So 15 is here. So I'm going to say 16.5 is this point here. So I'm going to say 2 and 16.5 is close to this one. And then I have 4 and 33. So I have 4. This is 30. This is 35. 33 is something close to this one here. Uh, with two points, points I'm um, good to graph, so I'm going to graph these two and I can see that there is an approximation going all the way to the origin. Okay, so that's my graph, goes through zero. And now I'm ready to answer the question. Uh, where is the question? It says, make the graph, show, uh, graph uh, the points, find the slope. Remember that the slope, this one is a graph, it's an approximation, so I'm going to use the points. So I'm going to say, where is 16.5 divided by 2? This one is equals to 8.25. I'm going to take another point and says 33 divided by 4 is equals to 8.25. That's my slope. See? Is the constant rate of change. If I do one more, I'm going to say um, 49.5 divided by 6 is equals to 8.25. So it's a constant rate of change. So my answer here is, what is the slope? Slope 8.25. And then I'm going to say Nikki rides, in this case, is uh, 8.25 miles per hour, okay? That's the answer. Problem number five, you have the table below shows the cost for C different numbers of binders. B, is the relationship proportional? That's the question. If so, represent it with an equation. If not, explain why not. So we have the table. Again, we do the division. We do the division, so I have um, 5.4 divided by four is equals to 1.35, then you say 10.8 divided by 8 is equals to 1.35. Then I'm going to say 16.2 divided by 12 is exactly the same, 1.35. So we have a constant rate of change. That's the slope. So in this case, I'm going to say yes, okay? Because the question is, is the relationship proportional? Yes, it is proportional. The relationship is proportional. The relationship is proportional because each ratio if ratio of cost to binders is 1.35, okay? What is the second question? Um, can you represent it with an equation? Yes. And this one is usually goes straight to zero in the y-intercept. Um, so in this case, my equation will be, remember it's a cost equation. So I'm going to say C is equals to 1.35B, which are the binders. So what we have where shows the cost C for different numbers of binders B. 
Okay, that's the solution. And now let's go to the last one. It's a little bit more complex question. In this case, I have already the solutions here. I was thinking on it. Shen, um, Shen, Sean wrote the equation 9.25 equals to 5m, where m is the cost per pound to show the relationship between the total cost, 9.25, and the number of pounds of pairs, 5. He bought a quick market. Uh, mark, quick mark. Find the unit cost of the pairs, write an equation to show the cost of cost y of x pounds of pairs, and use the equation to complete the table. Then use the information in your table to make a graph. So in this case, what is the unit cost? The unit cost, if you have 9.25 equals to 5m, you just need to solve for m. It's an equation. So we divide both sides by 5, as we learned before. So you have 9.25 divided by uh, 5 is 1.85 equals to m. Okay, so in this case, this one is 1.85. What is the equation? Remember, if we graph these points, knowing this information, um, knowing this, um, if we do the equation, for example, let me say y equals 1.85 um, x. So if I put 2 times 1.85 is equals to 3.7. If I put 5 times 1.85 is 9.25. Now 6. 6 times 1.85 is equals to 11.1. 8 times 1.85 is equals to 14.8. These numbers, 2, 6, and 8, those are the ones that I'm given. Okay, I'm given. Although I just made up those numbers. Now, these ones at the bottom, the cost, it came from your equation. Now we're going to graph these points. For example, I'm going to start with 0, 0. Is a linear function, and in this case, the kind, this kind of problem goes to zero. Then I have 2 and 3.7. So this is 2, this is 4, this is 3. 3.7 is close, like this point here. I have two points. Let's do one more. 5. 5 and 9.25. So I have go 10, 9.25 is around this point. So now you can draw a line. And that is your solution of this problem. So that's what we're looking for. Those are the um, homework that is due on Tuesday. So you need to make sure to follow the video solution and compare your solutions. And I will see you next class.